Here's how you can get to the top of Google in under an hour for any keyword that you want, which is $5. First things first, create a landing page that matches what you're trying to sell. For this, it's Gary Vee's favorite Google ad strategy. We want to show up first for Gary Vee just to mess with him. I think this is pretty funny. So we'll go here, we'll create a search campaign. No goals, I don't like some of the preset selections. I'm gonna name this Gary V or something like that. I don't wanna show on display network. And here's a really good tip. We were gonna target certain locations. Um, I'm in San Francisco, so I'm gonna target a certain area around San Francisco. There's millions of people just within this 10 mile radius. Once we go there, we can choose, I'm just gonna choose English, obviously budget. We don't need a lot, just $10 a day. For this particular strategy, we're gonna choose enhanced CPC so we can really control the bids and bid up for certain keywords because we're not familiar right now with how much Gary V keywords or VaynerMedia actually costs. So that's a real key thing is do enhanced CPC. Site links, ad extensions are good. We're gonna add these in a little bit. And that's how you set up the campaign. That's proper campaign structure. Now we're gonna name the ad group and we're gonna keep each keyword bid at around $2.50. I think it's gonna cost a lot cheaper than that. Let's just do $2. And no one pays. You're not gonna to have to pay if no one clicks on it. So what I'm doing right here is creating exact match keywords for Gary Vee, VaynerMedia. So what happens here is people literally has to type in, someone has to type in Gary V specifically or VaynerMedia specifically. It won't show up for VaynerMedia partners or VaynerMedia um, campaign types. It'll just show up for these specific keywords. So it's really targeting. Um, it's good to do keyword research before. I've already done this. Um, but this will allow you to spend your budget most efficiently by setting these parameters around your keyword types. Now this is a phrase match keyword and it'll show up for close synonyms, lookalike keywords to Gary V. Um, but a lot of my budget is being spent on exact match and this will keep your budget and cost efficiency extremely low when you're trying to show up for the right keywords. Now I'm gonna create the ad and I want the ad to match back to the landing page. You saw my landing page that I just created. Um, I want to not only put the final URL in, but I'm gonna create an ad that matches some of the text that I've seen on the landing page. So for this, I wanna launch ads like Gary V. He always talks about this one targeting strategy where you can target people searching on Google on YouTube. Um, and this is what the article is about and this is what play the product can actually do for you. Um, part of getting to the top of Google is making sure that your ad text will align um, to your keywords and it'll align to um, the landing page. This is a key component of quality score. Um, so I'm just making up some random text here. Gary V's favorite targeting, making sure that Gary's in there. I can't use Gary Vaynerchuk uh, specifically. It's a term that Google will flag as a policy issue. So that's why I'm going with Gary V. A lot of people know Gary V show, for example. Here's another key tip, adding the exact keyword Gary V into the display path, like I just did right above. Um, this will bold out that specific keyword, which will increase your click-through rates by potential searchers. So here's a description line. It's good to include keywords um, into the description line as well, like Gary V, um, call to action, just creating this ad text. Again, this is only showing to people within that San Francisco region within a 10 mile radius. Um, it also show up for people who type in Gary V San Francisco, but unless those two things are typed, it won't show in Wisconsin or New York. This is a way that you can really target your exact audience, especially if you're a B2B. Um, I'll get into an example later, but just created the ads. Um, now I'm gonna go check out the campaign. Things are still being approved. Google has to review, make sure everything looks okay. Um, but now it's time to add some ad extensions while this thing is still getting, uh, the status is still under review as you can see. So I'll add some ad extensions. It does improve your visibility, takes up more space. I think call out is a great extension. It's simple and easy to add. You don't need to add links or too much text. There's only 25 characters. Make sure you add your keywords and your call out text ad extension here. Gary V strategy. Um, let's do advanced mm, targeting. Um, 
because that's what the, my landing page is about. Um, I'm targeting uh, play today and uh, the last one I'm going to choose is Gary Vee. It's good to include your keywords in here. So this is how you set up the proper campaign structure with the targeting settings. This is how you set up the proper bidding with enhanced CPC bidding. Um, and this is how you create your ad to include keywords from your landing page um, and the keywords that you want to show up for in your ad group. Um, fast forward, and now I'm going to refresh the page. It's only been two minutes. Let's see if it's approved and great. Okay, it's approved. Um, let's check a few more things to make sure. So the keywords, keywords are all eligible, which is great. Um, Gary Vee is a keyword that we're going after, VaynerMedia. Um, let's see if we can show up. So remember, we just launched these ads basically two minutes ago. It took us under six minutes to set up. Let's go to Google, let's type in VaynerMedia and see if we're able to show up in under almost seven minutes. Okay, so we're not showing up for VaynerMedia right away, but remember our, our ad just launched. Um, let's see if we show up for Gary V. Um, so not on the first page of results yet. There's still some optimizations we need to make. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit and see, wow, okay. We made it to the first page of Google um, in under 10 minutes. We made it to the very first page of Google in under 10 minutes. That's pretty incredible. Um, wow, okay, so going back to the landing page, just checking this out, just showing you that this was um, the ad that we just created and we're able to show up on the first page of Google, something that's extremely hard for any agency, but this is something that you can do right away, get to the first page. We still have some more optimizations to make though until we get to the very top of Google. And I'm just gonna show you the Play website also right now in case you don't wanna follow these steps. Um, all these steps to get to the top of Google are condensed into four quick and easy taps of a button for you within the Play app. And you can just download it right in the App Store and be able to launch Google ad campaigns to get you to the top um, right away uh, of Google to meet your goals. You can drive foot traffic, promote your YouTube video. Um, there's gonna be other integrations as well. But let's go back to Google. And wow, okay, so we're showing up at number three position now for Gary V. In under 10 minutes, we're able to show up first, um, well, on, in the third position at least, for um, Gary V, which is huge. Um, so okay, we're, we're getting better. We still need to do some work to get to the very top position. And one really big tip here, and this is a trick that I think is going to work really well to get us to the top, is to increase the budget um, by a lot. I'm moving it from $10 to $100. We won't spend this um, at all. I don't even think we'll spend more than $5 for this campaign, but this is one of these tricks that I think can really prioritize some of your campaigns within Google. Um, so moving it to $100 a day, again, we won't spend it, but I think this is one of those quick campaign settings that will help prioritize some of your campaigns above your competitors. And something else that we can do at this time is start to increase um, our bids that we want to pay for each keyword or for each click. I wanted to pay just $2 max for each click, but I'm going to bump that up to 10 to make sure we are beating the competition because there's other people bidding on these keywords, and I think to get to the top faster, um, it's better to increase your bids and beat the competition right away because there's no performance data. So let's look um, right, let's search for it. And wow, okay, so we've gotten to position number two at this time. This is crazy. We've gone from not even being on the page to the bottom of the page to position number three, and now we're, we're at position number two. Um, there's a lot of quality businesses looking for Gary Vee, so you can imagine what you could do with other keywords like pizza shop um, or top shoe brand. Um, so just showing up on Google first can bring a lot of credibility and a lot of eyeballs to your brand. So I clicked on the ad. Um, I'm just going to show you the landing page just to show you how everything's connecting, how everything's working. The ad text aligns to the keyword, aligns to the landing page. Um, and again, this is play. This is um, you can do this right within play, get to the top of Google, 
um, much simpler than the actual uh, AdWords interface. You can do this within four clicks. Um, it's free to download and you can also connect Google Analytics and get free insights by just asking uh, what are my best acquisition channels? Um, how are my campaigns doing? Where should I be spending my most money? So it's a great tool that allow you to launch um, marketing campaigns across Google, YouTube, uh, and more, and then also get insights. Um, so we still have some work to do to get to position number one. So I just thought of one more thing we can do, um, and that's add more uh, keyword density around uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. And that's adding some of his books. I know, you know, Jab, Jab, Right Hook. I think there's going to be a lot of people searching for Gary V books, uh, Gary V content. I think adding keyword density um, to each ad group and making sure it's relevant to what we're uh, trying to promote is, um, is really healthy for the ad group. I think it's going to help us get to that position number one spot. Um, this is also easier. These are more long tail keywords, and it's definitely going to allow us um, to show up first for these keywords that people are searching for. Um, and there's no competition around it right now. So I'm going to search through some of these other books and add these keywords. Okay, so the keywords are in. Um, we've waited a little bit. Let's check um, on Google one more time. Okay, fingers crossed. We're typing Gary V. Yes! Position number one um, on Google. And all in all, uh, within the waiting, you know, this took about 60 minutes, um, 60 to 90 minutes. And the setup didn't really take that long. It was more about just Google approving the ad, um, seeing that it was the right campaign structure, seeing that we had the highest bid, um, whether and seeing that we're targeting a certain location, seeing that the ad um, has a high quality score, that it's relevant to the keyword, uh, to the landing page, um, even to that little display URL in the ad, and making sure that all the keywords in the ad group are consistent. So not only, um, and honestly to do this, you saw how many times I clicked on the ad, I only spent about $5 to get to the top. Um, of Google, which is crazy for this keyword. Um, now, if I wanted to, I would uh, continue uh, continue doing this. Maybe get Gary V's attention. Um, ask him, uh, make him, you know, ask me to take it down or something like that. But this is pretty exciting. Um, so you can see that how the ad text lines up right here. Um, and this is something that Play can actually do, by the way. I don't know if I've talked about this, but um, Play can actually launch uh, this YouTube ad strategy just like Gary V. Um, Play is amazing. Um, it's coming up soon to iOS and Android, but uh, it'll allow you to target people searching on Google onto YouTube. Um, meaning if someone's searching for you know lawyers in San Francisco on Google, you can show them an ad on YouTube a few days later uh, for um, an ad on your law firm. And this is um, going to make it a lot more cost efficient for you. Like lawyers in SF, that term will cost you about $70 per click. It's extremely expensive, but you can drive hundreds of views for just five dollars with YouTube advertising. Um, so again clicking on the on the ad in first position going back to play. Um, play can get you to the top of, of Google. Um, it's using these strategies that that I've implemented. Um, we program them into play um, and play uses AI to do the same thing for the keywords that matter to your business. You don't even have to enter all these keyword research. Play will scan your website see how people come there. Um, and use the best keywords to get you to the top of Google, if that's your goal. Some search campaigns will help you drive foot traffic. Um, but again, guys, this is pretty exciting. Getting to position number one um, in about 90 minutes for just $5 for Gary V, a, a very popular entrepreneur with millions of followers. Um, there'll be a lot of people who search for this, um, maybe even Vayner Media themselves, and who knows, they might reach out to me from there. Um, Hopefully, you know, I'm not in trouble for doing this. <laughs> Gary V, what's up, man? Uh, I beat you on this one.